he gets put in a Spanish prison and, and they, he kind of bargains for his life to, so he becomes a spy for the traitor. And then he kind of infiltrates his way in with the king. He's also got uh, an obsession with the queen. He's a bit of a nutter, basically. He's a very, very naughty boy. I think the bad is fun. It's just you, you just get to do really bad things, you know. I kind of, you know, I'm always stabbing somebody or throttling somebody or got somebody up against the wall or I've got a dagger to their throat or, I'm, you know, I'm just a real wrong one. In the script, he has an obsession with the Queen. Um, I think Adrian had written it that he'd helped tutor her or something when he was younger, and he'd always had a, held her in his mind. And he worms his way into the court and becomes the, the King's right-hand man, basically just to get in bed with the Queen. I don't know whether he gets in bed with her, because I haven't shot that yet. I've certainly sat near a bed with her. I didn't kiss her, but, you know, he had those kind of kiss-me eyes. They're all very talented and they're all very different in their own way. I get on well with all of them. And they're all incredibly good looking. I've noticed that about them. They all have this incredible hair that kind of just, just, you know, flops down like effortlessly. I'm growing my hair. I'm hoping that by the end of it, I might be able to do a bit of that.